Hey Gary, I thought I would do a response video uh, from my office, since you kind of did one from your office. I'm also drinking coffee out of my fabulous, famous Mustaches of History mug. Um, there's also the cheat sheet on the bottom, which tells you who all of these mustaches come from, of course. It's Starbucks coffee. They tell me it's good, or they tell me it's bad. I don't really know. All I taste is cream and sugar, and that's kind of the point. Um, so yeah, quick spin around the ridiculousness of my office. Up here, I've got a painting of my former boss that I made in Photoshop to make it look like an oil painting portrait that he was going to put in the office of his replacement to be like a, I'm looking at you forever thing. Uh, it lasted there for like a day after he left, and now it's in my office because, of course, um, <laughs> would want that? Just me. Uh, watercoloring for my daughter, some photos that I put up because we work in a windowless closet, essentially. Um, singing bowl in the back because, you know, people need to know how much of a hippie I really am. Uh, Tibetan flag. Uh, other stuff. Inside jokes. Lots of random weirdness. This thing is actually kind of cool. I got. Um, it's water painting thing. And it just evaporates. And you can, you know, draw stuff, and it's supposed to be a meditation on impermanence and things. So I'm frequently just kind of doodling at my desk when I don't want to work, which is most days and most times um, for the 10-hour shift that I'm here every day because fun. Oh, and I went and test drove a Volt. Uh, I test drove it, and... They've been calling me back incessantly ever since then to try and get me to, like, come back and just buy the damn thing. And I'm not going to do that at this point because the um, the cost was a bit more than I expected. And maybe my credit score is bad or maybe I was just going to be getting a bad deal from this place. But they wanted, like, 330 something a month. And I asked, well, what if I give you get some time and um, put a down payment together instead of just a trade-in and zero down? And, and they knocked off the monthly payments, but only enough to cover, like, what the down payment was. Or they knocked off the monthly. And basically, they gave me no no better deal. There was no incentive for me to put money down on the car first in the grand scheme of things. I could have just got that money together, not told them about it, hold on to it, and use it to pay off the car. It would have been exactly the same. Um, so, yeah, I, I'd still like it because... It's an electric car where I don't have to assume two cars to be able to function as, you know, a person living in America with family not in the same town. Because, um, you know, you don't know for sure that you're always going to have two cars, so it'd be nice to have that option with that additional range that it grants you. Um, so that's why I was going for it. But, uh, but yeah, just I got to get some finances in order to be able to afford that 300 a month payment. Mostly I need to move out of my overly expensive apartment at this point because I'm wasting too much money on that. Um, so yeah, since you're really flush with cash, uh, as you said in your last video, you know, if you want to donate to the cause, I'll set something up for you.